How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to set up your Amazon Fire TV. Now we've just, uh, the first thing we did was just plug it in. So the, the, the power cord that's in the box, we plugged it into the unit, plug in the wall. You're going to get an HDMI cable. And what the HDMI does is it, it plugs from the back of the box to your TV. And then you're going to put the batteries in. Before, until you put the batteries in, the Apple TV won't really do anything. So I just put the batteries in. Now it's switched to this screen. And now it's saying to press the uh, start button, which is um, really hard to see from here. But we're going to go ahead and hit start on the remote. And the first thing it's going to do is search for a network and try to connect. So we're going to collect, connect to Mom the Meatloaf. So you're just going to use the directionals, the left and right uh, buttons on your uh, remote. We're going to go to Mom the Meatloaf, click on the center button, and that's how we select. And then we're going to put in our, uh, our password here, okay? And I'm going to see if the voice command button works here. We want it now. Let me see. Okay, it looks like the voice command is not working on this part, but that's fine. So here we have to just enter it one by one. So we will uh, put in our password. Password is we want it now. And this is a uh, quote from uh, Wedding Crashers. As you can tell, I'm a big movie buff. We want it now. And when you're done, you're going to come right up to the top here and go to connect and then we'll enter it and then it will connect to your network. Successful. Boom. And I'm assuming, I see your Amazon TV, it always requires an update at the beginning. So we're going to let it update and it says do not disconnect it. So um, we're going to let it do the update. All right, it's finishing up right now. And then we can get right to our interface. I'm eager to see what the interface looks like. Uh, this is definitely brand new. First time seeing um, this device. So it should have a you know a nice, pretty cool uh, uh, interface. And it's doing a second reset. And after that, we should be right in on um, our menu. There we go, Amazon Fire TV. And more installing. <laughs> We're getting close, guys, I promise. It's interesting, they, they went away from the uh, Kindle name and now they're just staying straight with the Amazon Fire since people already know the uh, Amazon Kindle Fire. So, uh, checking for more updates. All right, here we go. All right, so now that long drawn out uh, video is over, I uh, just decided to kind of skip that because I didn't want to bore you with that. You'll get a chance to watch that on your own. Uh, our setup is just about complete. From here, we have a chance to uh, decide if we want to do parental controls. Uh, if you are going to have younger uh, kids or, or relatives using it, you may want to set a, like a special pin code. Uh, for like ratings and stuff like that, but um, it's not a big deal. You can just go ahead and hit no parental controls. If you do, go up to enable and you'll just set a, a pin number so you have to put in that pin to watch certain content. So that's good. And uh, after that, you're done. You're totally set up. And now we're on our main home screen. Um, nice little look, you know, very elegant. We have our just side menu here. We can scroll through our different content. And um, more videos will be to come because we've got a lot a lot to go over we've got apps and videos games photos and so uh, we're going to figure out how all this stuff works but i'll make sure to throw some videos up and give you guys some more information but uh thanks for watching make sure you like favorite and share the video uh and also like us on facebook facebook.com slash h2tech videos take care and have a good one